You know, $5 million um, just in funding to go and manage the system. Now, these are unrestricted funds, so that's like real cash. You know, it's not like government funds or other types of funds that we can use to apply towards this. With the NSF proposal, we're only allowed to um, cost share or use, you know, real money uh, or to us unrestricted funds. So um, we would have to come up with $4.5 million versus <coughs> paying, you know, this amount per CPU hour. So as you can as you can guess, we went with uh, route number two because one, we wanted a local resource, so we didn't go and submit for national lab time. We already have you know hundreds of millions of hours out on you know national lab resources, uh, and those again are very precious resources to us. Um, you know, time out on like Blue Gene and those types of systems. We are looking for a a local resource where we could allow. Um, our users who may be foreign nationals or others that have difficulty getting accounts on, on some systems. Um, so we wrote the proposal, um, and again, we didn't use the, the Stanford model because uh, NSF probably would not award the contract to us. You know, if we asked for you know 4.6 million for a 3.6 million dollar system, um, uh, you know, so we probably would have not been able to complete our fundamental research. You know, uh, if we had went that route. Um, so we found a location on campus uh, and, and in our building that you know, we didn't have to pay for. We converted a uh, uh, storage room. Um, there's plenty of power and chilled water nearby. Um, we came up with the design uh, of the system and uh, construction budget of 300,000. Um, we knew we could accommodate a large number of, of nodes in this room. Um, and in, in this design, uh, you know, we had a concrete slab in this, in this room uh, and limited ceiling height, um, but we were open to different types of designs. So this design was from APC here, and, oh, sorry. So um, if we look here, you see these, uh, these C's are uh, chilled water cooling units. We have compute racks, and then there is a uh, hot aisle containment system in here. So that design worked out really well in this room. We could put in a self-contained system. And in doing this, we, we came up with a novel approach to cost sharing. We were able to cost share chilled water and power. So that saved us um, a million in cash that we didn't have to come up with. Um, we were able to go and demonstrate that all the power and cooling went directly to these racks and did not benefit anything else. Um, so the NSF uh, allowed us to use that as uh, cost sharing. So, so uh, that's how we were able to keep our CPU utilization cost very low. Um, so in the proposal that we were you know, sending out to the vendors, um, uh, we were looking for about 500 nodes, you know, dual, process, dual processor, maybe around 24 gigs of RAM, um, around 60 GPUs, uh, visualization wall we knew that we wanted, um, maybe around 400 terabytes of storage, power and cooling, you know, and we're somewhere around 25 kilowatts per rack is where we thought we would end up. Um, and then to manage the system, we were looking at 40% time for a uh, FTE, you know, and a couple of RAs to uh, assist with, you know, management and maintenance of the system. And then again, we had the uh, 300K for the uh, room reconstruction in there. So we won the award, um, and that actually started April 1st, 2010. Uh, so it was about four months later than we originally uh, had planned. Um, but uh, we had we'd won the award, we were very happy about it. But we now had a very accelerated um, time frame because when we initially uh, wrote the proposal, we were planning on getting it you know, uh, around January 1st, and we had this deadline here of uh, the, you know, June um, to where our summer program, uh, the Center for Turbulence Research summer program started, and we have 80 people that come in from around the country, or around the uh, world. And we were going to use this resource for that, uh, for that uh, program. So um, now we start at April 1st, and we have to make sure that we get this uh, system in over this time period. So we came up with an accelerated uh, time schedule to, to work with. Um, so in the first month, we had to go out and, of course, do the uh, RFP and, uh, you know, out to um, all the different parties. And we went out to, you know, a, a number of vendors, IBM, HP, Dell, you know, um, on and on. Uh, so we submitted out to them and gave them the uh, time frame that they had to complete things within. Um, and again, we had the uh, construction piece as well. So I learned a lot about building construction through this process um, because we wanted to uh, save quite a bit of money on this. Um, uh, so, 
As we went through this, I uh, contracted out the uh, design process and the uh, construction bid process. Uh, we, I just hired an engineering firm to take care of that. Um, it was just a, a nominal cost to do that, and, and that helped out quite a bit. Um, the winning proposal came from uh, Dell Computers. Um, they actually ended up giving us more hardware than we were looking for. We ended up with 560 nodes, um, 120 GPUs, um, a visualization wall, uh, and 440 terabytes of storage that we uh, obtained from Panassas. Um, oh, I think I forgot to include the uh, Mellanox 648-port uh, switch that we had in here. Um, but that was that's a, another key part of it. Uh, um, and then, of course, the APC power and cooling components. Um, so moving into the next month, we had awarded the construction and the uh, contracted, uh, contracted Dell for the uh, compute side of it. Um, so we start into the uh, main part of the construction, you know, preparing the room, getting power and cooling to it. Um, and so there was quite a bit of work. We found a uh, 1,000 amp for our 480 volt 1,000 amp circuit just outside in the parking lot. You know, I'm sure everybody has these sitting out there, you know, unused. Um, and so we found one out there and we just had to trench in re really quick, you know. And so they dug in and they ended up doing a lot of hand digging because we have a lot of things, you know, uh, out in our parking lot. But we were able to, to get the power in there uh, fairly easily. Um, and then we had to do demolition inside the room. This was a storage room and there was like a wall in between, so we had to remove a wall, put in a glue lamb, all these other types of things. Um, and I learned a little bit about, you know, construction, you know, there again. Um, we, this right here is the uh, uh, chilled water station. Um, so in, in this area, we had to go and build a um, uh, stand here to hold all the uh, pumping station and everything to handle the uh, chilled water. So we, we bring chilled water in and uh, we actually have a, a mixing station up there where we're able to take chilled water, run it through the APC systems, and if it's going back at too low of a temperature, we can keep recirculating it through until we have a high enough delta T um, to send it back to the plant so we don't suffer from a, a low delta T syndrome. Um, and as we continue on in the month, you know, they started completing construction down in the room. We had the APC, these are the 480 volts, um, half rack, uh, or half, you know, rack width units. Um, we have two of those in there, uh, supplying like an A and B power to uh, each one of the racks. Um, and this is the, the panel that we had brought in from outside, and they were just continuing with uh, work outside, pulling wire into the room. So we move in.